Kellyanne Conway and Ivanka Trump both drove Merriam-Webster's top words of 2018. Multiple West Wing advisors sent voters scurrying to the dictionary during the first calendar year of the Donald Trump era, according to Merriam-Webster as editor-at-large Peter Sikolovsky. Sikolovsky was interviewed by National Public Radio to explain some of the top words of the year. White House senior advisor Kellyanne Conway helped make feminism the word of the year. The next big spike we saw was in February, when Kellyanne Conway said in an interview that she didn't consider herself a feminist, Sikolovsky explained, and that as the kind of thing that triggers dictionary curiosity, because the word itself was the story. White House senior advisor and first daughter Ivanka Trump helped complicit make the list. So what we have is, for example, complicit the word that was used in a skit on Saturday Night Live about Ivanka Trump. And then the word was used in an interview with Ivanka Trump. And there in the interview she said, I don't know what complicit means, Sikolovsky noted. And you better believe that sends people to the dictionary. Sikolovsky says the dictionary has been compiling the list since 2003, but it all started decades ago. The real interesting story here is that we never had a measure of the public as curiosity until we put the dictionary online. And suddenly, we could see what words people were looking up and when. The first time this happened was just 20 years ago when Princess Diana died. And the word that was most looked up was paparazzi, Sikolovsky recounted. And so we were able to see what the public was really thinking about according to what they were looking up in the dictionary. President Trump himself helped Carnage and Covfef surge in lookups, NBC News reported. And ousted chief strategist Steve Bannon did the same for Svengali. The list may be even more important in the Trump era. And that in an age of alternative facts and fake news, having a neutral arbiter of meaning ends up being pretty important to a lot of people. And turning to the dictionary in these moments is not just for spelling or pronunciation, but also maybe the beginning of reflection and philosophy, Sikolovsky hoped. I mean, the word love is one of the most looked up words in the dictionary, and it has probably